Welcome back to Lord's... God damn it, Danny. <sighs> Got it. Nailed God it. it. <laughs> Welcome back to Lords of the Fallen here on Wit and Twit. What the hell's a teeter totter? The seesaw, Danny. Why don't you just call it a seesaw? I mean, it's, it's like different places with different things. Like, soda is here, but like in the Midwest, it's pop. Yeah, that's weird. It's. I mean, I can, I, can, I guess I can understand because it was soda pop at one point. Item downstairs. Oh, hey, feathers. Yeah, but like, I don't know. We also don't use the word gay as in happy anymore. It's like. Yeah, what up, what up with that, man? I am phone. totally gay happy. Don't hurt me, gay happy. I mean, I am interested in women, but don't call me gay while I'm playing this game. Because I am gay as can be. With happiness. Man, look at those gay colors on that boy. Also meaning bright. What up with that? I've no mind to take your So life. you derive happiness you from penis thanks. in your butthole? I mean, not me. Some <laughs> other people, maybe. I mean, in fact, I'm pretty sure the people who call themselves and are legitimately gay are gay for the dick up the butt. That... In multiple senses of the word at that point. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Okay, so maybe two. So they're probably happy, and they're probably homosexuals. Uh, probably. I mean, they could be bisexuals, but still. Um, um, but I don't think they shine brightly, so I don't think they're bright when that's happening. I mean, I don't know. I've, I've never seen that happen. I mean, if never. anybody if anybody takes a dick up the butt, if you could tell me, if you shine like a beacon <laughs> when you're taking it up the butt, then, we, we, then it's multiple use, it's more a than two uses of the word gay. We'd love to know, but don't send pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Videos only. No, all right. Send them to Danny, not to me. He can watch all of them. I would Everyone never do that which other Citadel. people are watching. And Damasalina <laughs> gave oath that he would mark the way to the remaining entrance. You know, it was kind of funny. I was actually talking to a lot of our friends. By those monsters. The zit of Wit Twit. I'm trapped. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> um, he was actually, like, trying... He was, he was talking to me. He was like, hey, you know... I was watching you guys' Let's Plays, but um, you guys talk a lot. I'm trying to watch the game, and I'm like, God <laughs> damn it, man. That's the entire point of the show. He's like, it is? I'm like, yes! It's like he's never come across a, a, a Let's Play before. I mean, I guess some Let's Play. Some Let's Plays are more half, about the game yeah. than this not. But I think Thomas most of them tend to be there are running commentaries. Please find them. I mean, I saw, I saw, the signs and back in our early voice. days when our only me, videos were um, of World of Illusions. I, I saw that there was a, someone else who did World of Illusions, and literally it was just the guy was just playing the game. There was no sound coming from him at all, and it was just showing you how to play the game. And I mean, guides I can understand. We are not. But I mean, it wasn't we're not a like, guide channel. It wasn't, we're not a how-to channel. It wasn't like, hey, this is how you do it, blah 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 blah. He literally wasn't saying. I don't even think he was mic'd. It was just him playing the game. Mm. See, I, and here's the problem I have with this. I I'm using Wit and Twit. I mean, really, if you think about it, the whole purpose behind Wit and Twit is really more of a running. Yeah, we're playing games, but I, I like to think of it more of uh, bite-sized podcasts. Yes, you get the gameplay to watch, and it's fun and entertaining to a certain degree, but it's really more about us talking. It, it's, it's what we have to say. We're sharing ourselves with you, yeah, it's along it's, with sharing the game with you. Yeah, it's, it's why it's wit and twit. We're not, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a let's play, because hey, you, you're watching let, let's play, but it's, it's, about, it's about what we have to share. I, I feel that the people who just play the game. I mean, unless they're doing a speed run or some kind of guide, you know, then they're kind of ruining the point of um, copyrighted material. I mean, somebody, somebody made the game, right? Yes. And by just showcasing the game and not adding anything to it, Um, by just playing the game and not adding anything to it, not having a running commentary or or talking over or doing the podcast or or even like showcasing a guide or a how to or a, hey check out this neat little secret or tip or trick or whatever, they're not adding any value to it. They're 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 plagiarizing somebody else's work, 
They're taking somebody else's... Oh, hi. God, I always forget about you. I, I wouldn't go that far, but I can see what you're saying, though. It's just like, if you're gonna watch someone play a video game and they're not gonna talk, then you might as well just play the game yourself. Like, yeah. you know, you might as well be by yourself, you know, in your, your own space, playing the game yourself. Because otherwise, what's, what's the point? Like, you have... I mean, it's like, if you go over a friend's house and they're playing video games and you're never playing with them well What's that the, there know? there are some people who like that i mean there are people who enjoy just watching games and some people who enjoy sharing that experience and i think going to somebody's house and doing that is fine and dandy because it's still you still have that that minor level of social interaction night on and i am not going if they, to not if they just completely shut down and just are immersed in the game stone. as if like it was Appeared out of nowhere you know as if you weren't even there which i have i've been a part of a couple of times well i mean if if they're if they're so absorbed if you aren't somebody who just wants to sit and watch and that's not be absorbed really and really bad. I, i'm just saying if you're somebody who wa just wants to sit and watch and not be absorbed and um, I guess those there uh, there probably are. And if somebody like if somebody's willing to you know doesn't want anybody else infringing on their gameplay, right? Like I guess in that sense, yeah, that's a perfect mix. But <laughs> ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Um, I only want to save that for later. I I had read that you want to save those. Uh, those uh, ability point stuffs because they're more useful later on in the game. That's a whole other thing. Um, because when you use it, it increases the amount of experience towards the next point, so you want to use it when it takes more experience to get points. So later on in the game. Yeah, anyways. But, anyways, um, I've always enjoyed sitting, hanging out, hello, hanging out with people playing games. Whether it's me watching them. And commenting and saying, Haha, you suck! <laughs> oh, I took that to the face. Ha! Um. Well, yeah, it's whether it's me, like, you know, commenting and saying, Haha, you suck! And. Then going, Fuck you, Gunner. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, but that's a social experience still, too. Like, Danny and I, we are sitting here, I'm playing the game, he's watching, we're talking, we're, we're interacting together. There, who was the... Together. There was some late night host who just seemed to not get it. Jimmy Kimmel? Jimmy Kimmel. Um, he was bashing on Let's Plays for not being a social experience. They were like, well... Why is somebody watching somebody else play a game? Why not play the game themselves? Or, you know, that's not social. Why don't you go out and talk to somebody? It's like, this is a social thing. You're listening to us talk. Hopefully you'll respond in the comments. So, you know, we'll go back and forth, and it's a social event. Um, what the derp. Is oh, that's a, that's a gauntlet. Are you sure that he just didn't just grow a crab hand out of nowhere? Captain Crab Hands? He's crabby, Connor. We shouldn't, we shouldn't mess with him. Yeah, I. There's something I've learned in my in my 27 years of life, is that everything that you could possibly make fun of in this world has a whole a huge aspect of it that you you're completely unaware of. That like martial arts, video games, uh, painting music, sports, whatever it is, no matter what it is, there's this whole world attached to these to these things that we, things that we do, things that we uh, that we have created. And if you don't know about it, then you could just easily say, "Oh, well that's dumb because you just don't understand." If you don't get all it, that goes into you don't it. get it. Yeah. Like um a lot of people who don't know anything about martial arts would and um would just say that if they're watching two people fighting, it's just be like, oh, they're just beating the hell out of each other. And I've mentioned something like this before, but the uh, 
and yeah, I mean, there are times where two people fighting is is literally just people just brawling, but two skilled fighters. Th- it, there's a reason why it's called an art form. And Martial art. Yeah, it's. It's. There's a lot that goes into it, and it is it is a dance. It is a strategic fight. It is you know it's like a a dancing chess match uh, between masters. It's it can be quite beautiful at times, especially if. Uh, Dude, that wasn't anywhere near the guy I was aiming at. Really? <laughs> God damn. Uh, so, and you could, and that's just true with everything. Like, you think that ballerinas or ballet is, you know, wimpy or sissies, but you realize that, you know, take some time to learn about it, you realize that, you know, people who do ballet are some of the strongest people for their size and weight class that you'll ever come across because the, the things that they have to do with their body is, takes a lot of strength and endurance. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that is... Oh, he Bugger. just he just hickeyed you to death, bro. Oh. He just nommed on your neck. It's just like I'm gonna give you a little love kiss, and then you died. So yeah, I I encourage everyone to you know give before you knock something. Don't knock it till you try it. Not necessarily try it, but learn about it. You know, I I for one think there are some things that you know you're not gonna like. Um, like, just stick up the butt. Yeah. I, you know, there's just some things you, you just know. Like, you know, you've been around the block long enough to know, hey, that's not going to appeal to me. You don't have to try that to know that. Uh, but at the same time, like, you don't, if you don't know anything about, you know, people who like that, you know, there's a Google that you could Google that. I mean, you may not want to tell people what you're Googling or whatever. You may want to clear your history or whatever. But, um... The more you learn about that, the more you can understand the other people, other, you know, what, why people do the things they do, and suddenly it's not quite as stupid or absurd or funny or weird, it's just, oh, that's a human, that's a real human being with real opinions, and guess what, it's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I guess I'm done rambling for now. No, 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 I completely agree. People are people, man. You know, we all do shit. <laughs> we all do shit. I like how I like how elegant that is, Connor. <laughs> people, people be people, mate. Right? Yeah, man. Sometimes to think about people behind how they're people, it makes me think of how people be a people. That's what I wanted to do. So yeah. But it, you know, we there's a lot to experience in this world. There are. There, there are. There is. There's a lot to experience. A lot to know. You don't know everything. You don't know everyone. And you know, I'm gonna say this. Something may be against your personal creed, or you might think something's disgusting, but if it's not hurting anyone, and I'm not talking like spiritually, I mean legitimately, if it's not if it's not hurting that other person. Or the people around them. Or the people around them. Then who are you to say it's wrong? You know? I mean, if it's against your personal creed, if it's against your personal morals, then don't do it! But don't tell me I can't do it. Don't tell me that... I mean, certain things... And we're taught... Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I think, I, I don't, I think I don't you're, have, you're I don't understanding have to quali- what I'm, I'm trying to say, though. I realize that I, I, realize I don't have to qualify, because you qualified already, so... I, I will stop interrupting <laughs> at this point. I, yeah, I mean, like, obviously don't do drugs, kids, but, um... <laughs> Go to school, it's good for it's you. It's like, people love people, you know? We, we all... love rain, man. Don't rain on somebody else's parade, because just, because you... Because you don't get it. Because you don't get it. Ah, that's the wrong button. You know, it's like... Yeah, the I... World's, the world's a crazy, messed up place anyways. Don't make it worse for... For others. For anyone. Yeah. Instead, kick a spider in the face. <laughs> Spiders are always worth killing. <laughs> no, I mean that I mean that's even that is not even true because like there Just are Just kick a demon spider in the face. There are people out there who I legitimate... have never, never opened this chapter. 
who legitimately like spiders and have pet spiders, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah, so, they let them so, crawl in their faces and whatnot. And it's unless like, it's a poisonous, venomous spider encroaching upon your territory and obviously meaning you harm, you know, live and let live, man. I I was thinking about that. How even like men and women, they are opposites, but even opposites have so much in common, like. Two we, eyes, we, two ears, a nose, a mouth, breasts. I mean, Believe it or not, men have breasts. I was they're not as magnificent, but they're still there. <laughs> they're not as beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they no. This I, got to a weird place, Danny. <laughs> the I wasn't even talking One about because there are people with uh, birth defects, and you know, there are people that are, are become disabled and whatnot. But um, in terms of what we all feel and need, we all have basic needs like uh i was thinking about it like as a kid who was just shy and nerve well i'm, I'm still kind of shy around. i remember you were there <laughs> in your face spinny twirly guy whose name will not begin with mick today <laughs> you have actually not been saying mick that much i i'm proud of you Danny. thank you i've been working really hard of your high <laughs> the irish culture i uh i was thinking about how absolutely terrified I was of, you know, girls that I liked. And I, l don't get me wrong, I'm still not a ladies man by any stretch of the imagination, but at least now I am... Many of our friends would disagree with you, but that's a whole other point. <laughs> I, I, I realize that, that I don't need, uh, that I'm, I'm not the girly fearful type anymore, I just have fears about it sometimes. But, so basically, I was just thinking back to all the times that I, um... Cleaved. That I just assumed the wrong things about women in general, because... I just, I, just, I didn't know. Like, I... It occurs to me now that... That we all like the same kind of stuff, like... Human contact. We all enjoy that to cert to a certain extent. It's it's a need to have, to be touched and to touch, for the most part. I have met people who do not like to be touched. I mean, it it, it is a, a thing. There's something in, about it. They they cannot stand being touched. And yet, but I will say for the vast majority that is true. And even in certain situations, with certain people that can't stand to be touched will diminish, even if it's just a little bit. Yeah, they mostly do it for your sake rather than their own, though. They know that you prefer human contact. They do it for you. And if you find one of those people and they do it for you, you are a lucky person because that person is doing something special. But I have to say, this has been another one of those intrinsic, in, introspective episodes of Wit and Twit. This is the Twit episode of Wit and Twit, <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. On Dr. Phil's Lovin'. I mean, Wit and Twit. Yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs>